By the way, Mr. Wema, I've not forgotten your nasty behavior in front of our new doctor this afternoon. Good of you to notice. It shows a bad attitude of insubordination and you know, lack of respect for your superiors. Is that right? Yes, you should be careful what you say in front of people. Worried? She has got you worried? We all have to tread carefully. She'll find you out. She's not stupid. Word of advice, Moses. New young doctors never stay around for long. You wish. I speak from experience. What are you playing at? Wouldn't the man around the center? I say take him to the ambulance. Hey, wait. This is a waste of time. We could treat him here. Oh, the good doctor knows what she's doing. Don't you agree, Mr. Banda? Of course, of course. Um, a young man. He, I mean, he's in safe hands. Are you worried? You could go with him. Okay. Just a minute. Mr. Wem. Where do you think you're going? Uh, this is one of my soccer players. I'm seeing him to the hospital. Get out of the ambulance! This man's problem is medical. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the laboratory. Madam, doctor instructed... Excuse me, sir. I don't know who you are. But I'd rather members of the public did not involve themselves in... Madam, doctor... Please leave, sir. I wish to speak with my clinical office. Madam Sophia. Mr. Wilberforce, this place is a disgrace. Everything is in shambles. It is even surprising it looks like a health center. I'm going to change all this. Just watch me. Well, Madam Doctor, first I would like to introduce the chairman of Konoweka's Health Unit Management Committee, Mr. Zachary Banda, who also happens to be the LC3 chairman for this area. Dr. Sophia Bagala, we shall be seeing a lot of each other quite often. Mr. Banda, I'm sorry for my behavior to you. It must be the pressure of shifting station. Probably. Uh, Mr. Wilberforce, can I have a word with you for a moment? If you'll please excuse us. So, when do I come back, sister? Uh, when you're nine months. I've written the dates on that card. Now that you've had your second dose of SP, you should be all right. Hmm? Especially if you sleep under an insecticide-treated mosquito net. Okay? But at any time, if you have a fever, come back immediately. Thank you, sister. Okay? And share that information with your family and your friends. I've told you, these tablets are different from the ones I gave you last time. I know the medicine that eased me. They looked like these ones. Yes, they have the same shape. Then they are the same ones. These are the right ones. Just do as I tell you. You woman, you're making too much noise for our patients. Please leave me alone. I know my problem. You know your problem? Mm. Are you more doctor than our doctors? Can you please have some quiet? Madam, I'm the doctor. Please tell me, what is your problem? She can't differentiate the tablets I've given her from those I gave her last time. What are they? Queenie. And last time? Who knows? Who tweeted her today? That was me. So she has malaria? Yes. But I'm worried. I think she could be pregnant. I'm not. Where are her records? They might be in your office. Might be. Come with me. Uh, Madame, please wait at the reception. We won't keep you long. You're going for more soccer? Uh, no. Hey, that boy was lucky that you were there. Thanks. That boy has an insect in his head. You'd be better off knowing that. You first look in your office before you look in others. What? Uh, Nurse Gina, the new doctor in your office. Doing what? You man, have you registered? You said she's called who? Hajara Narumansi. But there is evidently no sign of such a name in the records we've checked. Can I be of any help, Madam Doctor? Oh, 
yes, Mr. Wilberforce. We were looking for the records of Hajar and Arumansi. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Monday, our receptionist should know where they are. Monday? No, it's Livingstone who has them. Livingstone? Yes, madam. He's the cleaner. But he likes reading a lot, so he takes any document he comes across, even when we stop him. I see. You go and tell him to bring all the records he picked. Uh, Jane, will you please bring in the patient as we wait for her records? I would like to talk to her. Yes, madam. You stop that. You go and bring all the health center property at your place, especially the records. Yes, madam. Just for you. <laughs> you sweet talk me, you. <laughs> Please, that doctor would like to see you. Please, she will help. I, I, I think I should maybe take out my things. You know, this is the in charge's office and I'm no longer the in charge. Oh, please, go ahead. Do not concern yourself, Madam Doctor. Anyway, there is another space I can take, so it won't be a problem, really. I can keep my things here for a while. I'm sure it will be okay, rather than this having the doctor. Please take a seat, Mrs. Nelwansi. I'm not married. Well, Hajir, I need to ask you something. It is very important, but private. Do you need me anymore, Dr. Sophia? No, thank you, Jean. I know you're busy. I want her to stay. Well? Tell me, Hajar, have you been sleeping with a boyfriend? No. My nurse believes you may be pregnant. Not possible. Oh. Not when you did once and standing up. Uh, <clears throat> Hajara, I think you should let me examine you. Standing up having sex will not stop you from getting pregnant. And it only takes one time. This won't take long and then we'll know for certain. No need. You have malaria. If you're pregnant, malaria can damage your baby. If you're pregnant, we will give you different drugs that will not harm the baby. Trust me. She's a good doctor? She's very good. Very disturbing. Hey! Don't park on the grass, man! Don't park! Get off the grass! Where do we put the doctor's things? Which things? What do you see with? Who thinks? The doctor's. To the doctor's house. Where else? Thanks. Are you sure? Go and ask her. Okay. I, I will go and ask her for you. But you get off the grass. Uh, definitely you're pregnant, Hadja. How can that be? Even if you do it once, standing up, you can get pregnant. You should always use a contraceptive. It's the only sure way to prevent pregnancy. We can talk more about that later, but this puts you in a potentially dangerous situation as far as malaria is concerned. What can I do? Every time you have a fever, a bad headache, or fever of the womb, you must treat it as malaria. Come and see a health worker. If you don't treat it, you could lose your baby. Do you understand? We will treat you with medicine that is safe for you and the baby, okay? Who is it, please, Jean? I'm very sorry, Doctor, but it's Livingstone here asking where to put your furniture and things. Oh, just put them in my house. Yes, Doctor. I'm very sorry. One more thing. 
Protect yourself against further mosquito bites. It's the mosquitoes that carry malaria. Buy yourself an insecticide treated mosquito net to sleep under. Okay. What about your boyfriend? I'll tell him he's a father. Will he be okay? He better be. Hey, Moses, man, that's a great machine. I can ride, you know. Ah, uh, not on this one. You stick to scooters. How's our patient? What did they say at the hospital? You know what? Malaria. I thought as much. Must be cerebral malaria. You know these things? You know, this new doctor is perhaps not quite so clever as she thinks. That one, that lady doctor, she thinks she'll manage me. <laughs> She's joking. Me, I've been here for 12 years and I've seen doctors more cleverer than her. Everything is going to be all right. You'll see. <laughs> center is so disorganized and some of the staff are really rude and unhelpful and yet the people who offer medical care and information here seem to be really good. We have to improve quality of services so our clients can trust us. At least Hajar and Samla took our malaria message seriously. Malaria is so dangerous during pregnancy. So many pregnant women do not realize this. They need to take SP twice during their pregnancy and sleep under insecticide treated nets to avoid developing it. If they do develop fever, they need to have it treated immediately. I'm not sure if I got off to a good start with Mr. Zachary Banda or that clinical office and Mr. Uber Falls, but at least I got the doctor's house. Take me to the center. 